good morning from Maui. Today is gonna be my last day here for a couple of weeks. Going to Tahiti, that should be fun. But it's looking like a really beautiful day. The wind is up, uh, that's a good thing. We're gonna be doing some wind sports. Gonna go surfing, actually headed to the gym right now. It's gonna be a gnarly workout for sure. When I'm home, it's just nice to be able to train, um, have fun and kind of you know, home is where the heart is. My plan today, try to do as much stuff as I can while still be able to pack for my trip. So yeah, we'll see what, what happens. This is my cat, I gotta feed her. Say hi, Dots. Dots! Hi, Dotsy. Oh, look at that. Oh, fancy feast. Here you go, Dots. You freaking animal. So glad she's not any bigger because she would eat us all. She's a savage. All right. Look right. Two minutes on the bike, flush those legs, and then we're gonna do all this over again. Workout, like it always is, is super tough, but now the fun begins. Gonna go get a little bit of breakfast, do a little bit of surf training, and then we'll see where the day takes us from there. So now, all right, so do a little surf session here. Last minute training for Tahiti. The waves look really small and grovelly, but that's exactly what I need to surf. You can see right there, it's kind of crowded and barely breaking, but make the most of what you got. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's mostly exciting because no one's catching those waves. <laughs> There's these inside waves that are so good. Okay, as you can see, my car's full for any situation. Um, get up. There we go. Got a small wave shortboard. This is what I'll probably use in Tahiti. I know the rest of the world is much colder than Hawaii right now, but by Hawaii standards, this is freezing. I forgot my my thicker wetsuit, so now I have this half mill, and uh, it's really cold. It's all wet from last time I used it, and oh, the water's gonna be freezing too. Just gotta paddle really fast. Problem solved. Board flipper guys you see on the streets. Surfs that way. About to jump in the water. Going down this super slippery cliff at Hokipa. Oh, it's beautiful down here right now. Don't have a leash, so I don't need to stop to put that on. Just gotta maintain not slipping and eating crud. Oh, look at that. The surf looks so fun. Unreal. It's been a fun session so far, trying to get my uh, 
turns down in these little waves. They're pretty gutless. But uh, that's the point. You try to create your own speed through your turn versus just the wave's power. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's been a good training session so far. Little grovelly waves. Well, I'm gonna keep getting after it. Ah. That was a fun, fun training session, and uh, gonna go do something else now. Water's beautiful today, though, and the wind's coming up, so some good opportunities to get some wind sports done. We're in Paia traffic right now. This is my friend Cody Kerbox. He watches the vlogs sometimes. <laughs> Pretty entertaining. We are going to do a foil downwinder. Problem is there's a lot of rain squalls and not a lot of wind with those rain squalls. So, Cody needs to be work uh, in 45 minutes and explain the situation, Cody. Basically, um, I haven't foiled in like two months because I've been injured and Kai's dragging me out on a downwinder where there's no wind. I don't know how I get talked into these kind of things. A no winder. Basically, I have to pump down the coast right now, and if I don't make it in time for work, then I'm pretty screwed. But um, luckily for me, I have a paddle, so that is something- Your stand-up foiling. That I have as an advantage, while Kai's on his little 4.8, so if he falls, he's the one who's gonna be in trouble. Yeah, if I fall, literally, I cannot fall over this entire run down the coast, where we'll probably be a mile out at sea, not to pump it up, but wow, it is really <laughs> light. I told you. Um, but this is the challenge. The funny, the irony is, is if I fail, subsequently Cody will fail. Even if he doesn't, if he makes it the whole way, he still fails if I don't make it. The reason being is we're taking his car <laughs> up the coast and my car is at my house. And if I'm not there to drive him to his car, he's gonna miss work. So he better, you better, be hoping I'm gonna make it all the way down. I'm gonna have to give you some encouragement. Yeah, just give me some encouragement. You can do it! Otherwise I believe be... in you, like one of those cat posters. Otherwise I'm gonna be hitchhiking back to my truck. I mean, you could. In theory. In theory. But do you really want to? No, and I have a foil rig, so that'll be tough. No one will pick you up if you have a foil rig. We're ready to go. No wind, but we got some big old foils. Like the windiest week ever, and the one time that we get to go foiling, or I get to go foiling. I know the one time you get off work so we can go do this, um, you literally chose the lightest day ever. If you break your paddle, we'll be in the same position, but you have a Kevlar, which is almost bulletproof paddle, so the chances of that happening are pretty slim, but it'd still be funny because. How many paddles have you broken doing this? I think about seven or eight now. Had to get this one uh, reconstructed with Kevlar so I don't blow through it because apparently uh, foils and wing, like the wing and the foil and paddles don't mix well together. So yeah, that's have, what I thought. We have some Kevlar reinforcement to try to help us get through this one. But Kai really wants me to break my paddle so that I don't have an advantage. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Wind's kind of coming up a little bit. Hopefully I can catch a wave and get going. Here we go. Off to the races. How's this wave?
I don't want to learn that lesson why I need a paddle. Just gotta stay focused! For some reason, kind of better under pressure. I well, always crack. Uh, don't touch wingtips. That's why Hoyer, Tag Hoyer wouldn't sponsor me. Because you crack under pressure? He does. Good waves everywhere. Look at the set. Oh yeah. What? Can't collide with Code Leo. Go. Cody, remember last time when we ran into each other? Yeah, that was a fun. Let's not do that again. Yeah, let's not do that. Good thing we had jet skis. Good thing we had jet skis that day. Otherwise that would have sucked. The wind gods, thank you. Gosh, we're cruising now. Snowboarding. Woo! This is what snowboarding feels like, yeah, Cody? Oh, powder. Oh, yeah. When your legs are tired. The bumps start to disappear, so we try to catch a wave right here at a spot called Secrets, and we're going to try to make it all the way to the beach. Yeah, we made it! Almost. Almost to the beach. Oh, we did it! We made it! We did it! Now let's go to work. I mean, for me. Cody, go to work! <laughs> all right, we made it! Back in my truck from all the way. We actually made it. Okay, real quick. You didn't really think we were gonna make it, did you? I, on well, I, didn't, I honestly didn't want to go on the run because there was no wind. And See, you gotta believe. Cody's gotta believe. Well, I mean, see, how much, how much more fun was that than not going? Oh, it was a blast. I'm actually stoked because the waves really suck, but that was a lot of fun once the wind actually did show up down the coast. Downwinding's fun when there's wind, when there's but wind. I will admit, you do have a point that it's not that much fun when there isn't any wind, which that was pretty borderline, I'll admit. It can be the most miserable thing ever. It can either be like the funnest thing you've ever done, foiling down wind, or like so miserable you never want to do it again and you feel like you're gonna throw up. Yeah, we don't don't want to do that. Let's see, well, you have a bunch of good. I powered oh. off my lunch. What's your lunch? A jar of honey. This guy eats literally a jar of honey for his lunch. I mean, honey's great, but that's next level. Cody, you're next level. All right, it was a fun afternoon with Cody. We had a great downwinder. Uh, I really enjoyed the fact that we actually had wind. And, you know, we, it could have been a long swim in, but I don't know. It, it, the whole thing worked out perfectly. At one point, I really actually thought that, you know, I was going to be swimming in and needed to hitchhike, but, uh, you know, is he leaving? Cody! Well, we had fun anyway. See you, bra. Shoots Mahalo. Whatever.